Welcome to Saturday Night Live at the Basement. We have a jam-packed program for you tonight with a number of special guests. Jam-packed is right. We'll be reviewing the events of the last 20 years BC. Before COVID. We'll be revisiting the first two decades of this third millennium. So, from the year 2000? Uh, actually, no. Uh, the year 2000 is the end of the 20th century, but from the end of 2001. Which began well enough. Then came September 11. The beginning of the end of the world as we know it. So With the 11th of September, fanaticism shut the system down. to 2001 for our first guests this evening. Responsibility for the attack on the World Trade Center was initially claimed by Osama bin Laden. However, following September 11, the administration of George W. Bush blamed Saddam Hussein. Yes. Weapons of mass destruction, large stockpiles of weapons of mass destruction were hidden in Iraq, and Saddam Hussein was a state sponsor of terror. The United States launched a second Gulf War. Prime Minister Tony Blair agreed that the US should align with the UK. Our intelligence proves beyond doubt that Saddam Hussein has continued to produce chemical and biological weapons and has extended the range of his ballistic missile program. The United Kingdom, the United States and their allies attacked Iraq and also went into Afghanistan. When first the bombs did fall upon Afghanistan we thought the world had ended, especially for Pakistan. The armies gathered and prepared for war in Uzbekistan. We linked up with the Mujahideen to fight the Taliban. Hey, Uncle Sam, the bombs are falling on Afghanistan. Can you 
the US Iraq survey group issued a report that stated that they had not found evidence that Saddam possessed any weapons of mass destruction. I was as surprised as anyone that the troops didn't find any WMD. Nope, not here either. But the fact is that Saddam was a danger and the world is better off because we got rid of him. I concur, absolutely. Even if there had been no WMD, that would have changed my justification, but not my decision to go to war. Many people claim the real reason they went into Iraq was to wreak revenge on what Saddam had done to George H.W. Bush and to possibly gain control over Middle East oil supplies. At least we got the man who whooped my daddy. You mean we save the Iraqi people from tyranny and oppression? <laughs> that too. And uh, we got the oil. <laughs> <laughs> Black gold! Texas tea! Love those greenbacks! <laughs> you make it with the stock exchange crowd. I see you preening, and you're very well endowed. You're my pleasure, my delight. You're the one who's gonna see me through the night when I hold you tight. <laughs> well, you! Around and you're not so clean. You've been a spendthrift, a total liberty. You grab a man and you make him be. Hey, Yankee Dollar, you're an evergreen. You're the one that makes me feel so fine. You buy me whiskey and you buy me wine. Got sexual graces, you need. You're so smutty down your fine line. Oh, dirty dollar, dirty, dirty, dirty dollar. Oh, dirty dollar, dirty, dirty, dirty dollar. Oh, dirty dollar, dirty, dirty, dirty dollar. Dirty, dirty, dirty dollar. Dirty dollar, you're my favorite side. You always say. 
satisfy my appetite When you let me stroke you and hold you tight You drive me crazy, but that's all right Dirty dollar, you're my beauty queen I don't mind you for not pristine You're better than an amphetamine Every nation in every region now has a decision to make. Either you're with us or you're with the terrorists. From this day forward, any nation that continues to harbor or support terrorism will be regarded by the United States as a hostile regime. Wars in the Middle East caused over 100,000 civilian deaths, tens of thousands of military deaths, and the displacement of over 3.3 million people before the withdrawal of Allied military forces in 2021. Don't look back on all the misery back at all that war, the devastation of humanity, and a nation at its core. Don't look back on the insanity, what were we fighting for? Responsibility to people scarred forevermore, servants of united policy. We were victims, too, I swear. Those people didn't have a prayer. What have we wrought on them? A country dragged down to its knees. What ruination have we brought to them? Destitution and disease. Fighting in the name of liberty.
how they pave the way to hell. God absolve their living and their dead. Lord, protect them from their strife. Strengthen them and lead them to their bed. In a blessed afterlife, your good will and your wisdom. after demonstrations, after protest meetings take place. World leaders continue to deny climate change, claiming they see good omens for a bright future. A positive augury. <laughs> are open, I say, be careful. <laughs> I dream a dream, but can it still come true? Life plays little tricks on me and you, a slippery ogre. There are certain things I know for sure. Tomorrow's news is knocking at the door. I open up and say, please tell me more. You might keep Seems that we are doomed to be in the ring to eternity. We can look, but we can never see a gorgeous augury. It's not the same as it was 
was yesterday. A little light shone there for all to see. A gorgeous People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction and you are failing us. But the young people are starting to understand your betrayal. The eyes of all future generations are upon you. And if you choose to fail us, I say we will never forgive you. Right here, right now, is where we draw the line. The world is waking up and change is coming, whether you like it or not. I was alone, I was torn by the question, is this for real or some empty illusion? I've lived a life of privilege. Yeah.
widens between the haves and the have-nots, and the first world in particular continues to pollute the planet, yet more international conferences are held. A new set of national leaders proclaim they will halt global warming and cure the latest pandemic. Hi there. Salutations. Welcome to England. I thought this was Scotland. Oh, mea culpa. I meant welcome to the United Kingdom. Say, have you seen President Macron? His mother wouldn't let him come. <laughs> what about that fella from Australia? What's his name? <laughs> Couldn't keep him away. <laughs> Did somebody mention Austria? <gasps> Uh-oh, look out, here comes Mooty. <laughs> Good morning, Chancellor. This conference is already 13 minutes late commencing. Let's get on with it. We are the leaders of the Western world. The flag of democracy we one fell. You voted for us and so we'll be. Keeping the free world free. C is for climate, also for change. Temperature we can exchange for one in a lower range. Though it may seem strange, we have a remedy for everything. You'll never catch us embellishing the truth or filibustering. Integrity is our key. For Omicron, we even have a cure for Delta Cron. Soon we'll be Omega, wait and see. It's all Greek to me. argued that the final deal out of Glasgow resulted in incremental change inadequate to address the severity of the climate crisis. The COP26 was an exclusionary fortnight of talks that became a public relations exercise. They think they're right and 
about the way things are meant to be. But I'm a realist, but I know that she can't see that the way things are, are the way things are. Your revolution failed, it barely left a scar, cause the way things are, are the way things are. And bloody insurrection, it won't get you very far. You let me down. Are what they are. We offer you the world. No more blah blah blah. I see a problem here with alternative facts. You're all lacking compassion, you cruel artifacts. You who let us down threw our dreams away. But the day is going to come when you will have to pay. It's very nearly midnight. The time is fast running out. Coral reefs are burning, the earth in blood or drought. We send you off to the best of schools. And then you go out. And break all the rules. Stop turning aside. One way clock posits that if everything that has happened on earth were compressed into a single year then humans didn't arrive on the scene until 11 30 p.m on new year's eve scientists have contrasted this great spread of history with how short our futures might be and told us we may only have a few metaphorical minutes until midnight every year Weapons of mass destruction, environmental breakdown, and disruptive technologies begin to show us that the hands of the doomsday clock are closer to Armageddon than ever before. We have only 100 seconds left. There's a flaw in us all that will not let us see When confronted with the truth We turn from reality when put before us It's as plain as day There's so much injustice but we turn the other way Cause we're unconscious Our brains will not compute When confronted with reality we will Deny the truth Deny the truth Injustice is happening, this I understand But input into brain cells has no cognitive end We hear it all, we know it's true, but simply don't react 
inappropriate response is shot down to the facts. Cause we're unconscious, our brains will not compute when confronted with reality. We will deny the truth. Deny the truth. Deny the truth. Deny the truth. There's so much happening in the world, everyone can see. The horrors and injustices A nightly on TV And though we look and see it all We never seem to care Cause if we like to say so much What would never dare Cause we're simplistic Our minds cannot digest The magnitude of life when we say Stuff the rest Stuff the rest Stuff the rest Stuff the rest Not at all, cause we're unconscious, our brains will not begin when confronted with reality we will deny the truth, deny the truth, deny the truth, deny the truth, when your state of mind leaves you helpless, leaves you blind. Your sanity is in decline And the thoughts inside your head Seem so empty, now seem dead You must never, never, never Deny the truth, deny the truth, deny the truth, deny the truth. Horsemen of the apocalypse have invaded the planet. War, plague, famine, and death ride roughshod over humanity. When I'm the dead, I am the dying. See my face. And the one you turn away from and walk on by.
the grace of God. It could be you. life everywhere. Rather than a perfect world, it's a perfect storm. Our world has been driven into darkness. No light remains. All the words have been said. We ask ourselves a question.
continue to destroy democracies. Unthinking people go on devastating the planet. The hands of the doomsday clock stand at 100 seconds to midnight. We are all threatened, and the time to act is now. I saw Barcelona. I saw Seattle. I saw global justice. I fought freedom's battle. Supported East Timor and Fratellin's fight. I saw Maraluca and Warmer's plight. Reconciliation is my dream. Visions of the world without hunger, war, and greed. <laughs>
For last year's words belong with last year's language. And next year's words await another voice. What we call the end is often the beginning. And to make an end is to make a beginning. Yeah. 